Hello and welcome to the first workout of this four week program. It's going to be so good. I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited for me. We're gonna absolutely smash it and I can't wait to get started. Without further ado, let's go. Hello and welcome to today's live workout. It's going to be so good. I'm gonna wait for you guys to get all nice and situated. Put your ponytails up. Get your stuff ready. We are about to feel our absolute best. We're doing a one hour full body HIIT workout. There's absolutely no mercy. It's going to be so good. We're going to get started with a warm up for five minutes and then we're going to jump into today's workout. And today's workout is basically 10 exercise moves. But first dance it out. All right, it's 10 exercise moves that we're going to do right after each other. Only 10 second rest between each one. We're gonna work every single muscle of the body. We're going to work your upper body, your lower body, your core, everything. So it's gonna be good. And I'm going to walk you through all of it, okay? So it's gonna be awesome. What you will need is dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, you can just grab water bottles for now, it's fine. You will need your mat, and you will also need a chair for the last two moves. And mine is right here, I'm gonna be using it in the last two exercises, all right? I'm gonna walk you through everything. It's going to be absolutely amazing. There's going to be ways to make things more difficult and there's going to be ways to make things a little bit easier. And guess what? Whatever you do is awesome. All right, we're gonna turn it up and we're gonna get started. I cannot wait. I'm gonna turn on our time for the warm up, and we're gonna get, we're going to get started with 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Also, don't forget to turn on your trackers. Nothing is worse than doing a full workout and not recording that stuff. All right, so turn on the tracker. I'm gonna put mine on hit for today because we're just gonna go at it. I'm gonna give it my all, all the way to the top. If you have knee pain or anything like that with jumping, you can always just go and do things like this, all right? But if you don't have that problem, you're gonna have to jump. All right, come down to the floor. We're gonna go into plank position and you're gonna turn to the side and turn to the other side, all right? If you are a beginner, you can just hold plank. You can even hold plank on your knees. If you're advanced, keep your core tight and do a big round to the top. Yes. Amazing. All right, from here, you're gonna stand at the top of the mat and you're going to reverse lunge all the way to the back. All right, make sure your knee does not touch the ground. Core tight, team, all the way to the back. Big stretches here. We're alternating our legs. It's just warm up, but I'm introducing you to the moves so that you're very comfortable with the whole thing. All right, next, I just want you to run in place. Just run in place. Just, you know, wake up the body from whatever you were doing earlier. Maybe sleeping, maybe working. Just move, move, move. 15 seconds here and we're repeating the warm up one more time. All right, core engage and keep breathing. You got this. This is the first workout from the Fit and Fab workouts, and it's going to be awesome. The whole program, bring your hands to the top. Whoever is committing and committing to a whole 16 workouts in four weeks, hot damn, you're gonna feel so good by the end of this, and you're gonna be addicted, so prepare yourself. All right, bring it up, keep going all the way to the top. Core engaged. Bring it down to the floor. Plank. To the right. Core engaged. To the left. Yes. We're just getting started. 
Well done. Bring your hands up. Good. Yes, come on, let's warm it up. Let's get that body energized. Get that core engaged. All right, from here, reverse lunges. Bring your left leg back, big step back, right leg back. Yes, all the way. Well done. Core engaged, step back, slowly. Come on, after this, we're gonna run in place. Yeah. Okay, good, again, just run in place, which is what basically you're going to do whenever you find something too difficult. I want you to just come back and just jog in place so that you don't, you know, you don't skip anything completely. The weights you want to use in today's workout could be from 1 kg to 5 kg to 8 kg. It depends on your level. All right, warm up done. Let's switch over to our actual workout. The first exercise is a dumbbell squat. You're gonna squat down and up, just like this, all the way to the bottom, all right? And you can hold dumbbells here, dumbbells here, kettlebells, whatever you want. All right. And then there's gonna be 10 second rest before we go to the next one. So stay with me. The first round might be a little, you're gonna feel like, how am I gonna catch up? But the second and third round, you're gonna smash it, all right? Turning it on, grabbing my weights, and I'm gonna start with squats. Down, 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 up. All the way down, up. Good. Whenever you feel like you need to warm up a little bit more, go ahead and do that. Yes, I see your comments in the chat. Good, all the way down. We're doing this for a whole minute. All the way down, all the way up. Down, up. Go as low as you can go in your squat and come back up. Good, core engaged. Back straight, hips to the back. Yes. Well done. All the way down, all the way up. If you're a beginner, you can have a chair behind you or a couch. And just tap your butt and then come back up. Good. Excellent. From here, come down to the floor. Remember that plank position. Right here. If you're a beginner, you can stand here. If you're advanced, you're gonna bring your left leg forward, right leg forward. And if you're a beginner and you just wanna give it a try, let's go. Left leg forward, right leg forward. Let's engage that core, those shoulders, and those legs. Everything is moving. Make sure your core is engaged. Yeah? You 
got it. Next trick. Keep breathing. Woo! You're about to have the sexiest back muscles. Yes. We're working on that area between the bra and the arm. Both arms together. Left, up, right, up, together. And repeat. Good. Woo! You got it. To the top, together. Yes. If your lower back hurts, come back up. Shake it up and come back down. Good. Keep your neck straight. Look down to the floor. And get that smile on your face. Because you're working out. You're doing what's best for you and what makes you feel good. All right, down, rest. Now I need you to grab the next set of weight for the legs, all right? And I'm gonna go ahead go for the big boy weights because my legs are strong and what we're going to do is we're going to go back into reverse lunge with the same leg. We're not alternating. All right, so similar to what we did in the warm-up. Step to the front. All right, bring your right leg and step back. Come back up and all the way back and come back up. Well done, champ. Good. Back straight. Core engaged. Well done. All right, so if you're bringing your left leg back, you should be feeling it in your right glute. If you're new here, glutes are your butt cheeks. Well done. All the way to the back. Woo! Nothing like a good leg workout. Leg exercise to be particular and specific. All the way. Make sure your knee does not touch the ground. This is your reminder to challenge yourself today. If something is difficult, just go at it and it'll become easy with time, patience, but a little bit of hard work and effort goes a long way here. Breathe, last breath. Tail, shake it up. We're gonna go again, the other leg. All right, ready? Step back with your right, or the opposite leg, whichever one you started with. Yes. Core engaged. How many calories you burn per session depend on the effort you put in the session. This is why I want you to show up with the best intention to do your best every single time. Make it count, baby. Core gates, back straight, neck straight. Yes, all the way. If your right leg is going back, means you should feel it in your left glute. Breathe. If you're a beginner, Obviously, no weights, right? That's the secret to making things easy. Drop the weights when you need to, but keep going. Last one. Yeah. And people say home workouts don't work. Damn. All right. Next exercise. Plank. Come down, you're going to do a reach over. So either you hold in plank, you bring your dumbbell to the other side without moving your torso, or you hold plank, or you just don't move weight. So it's completely up to you. Alright? Get in position, team. Let's go. On the floor, plank position. Grab the dumbbell with your right hand, bring it to your left side. I mean, opposite. Right hand, right side, left side, left side. Core engage, try not to move your upper body. Do you know what we're doing 
doing right now? Working your oblique. Side out. And your arms. Toning them up. We're getting sexy really, really quickly right now. Come on. Stay with me, champ. If you can't do the reach over, hold the plank. Squeeze your core. Beautiful. Bring it over to the other side. Yes. Come on, 15 seconds. You got this. If you're a beginner, you can also now go on your knees. Well done. Really squeeze that core and rest. Next, we're working the upper body. We're going to do bicep curl to press. Bicep curl to press, all right? Whatever way feels good to you. Up. Core engaged. I'm carrying a 6 kg, but it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to carry. You want to carry lighter? Do it. You want to carry heavier? By all means. As long as your form is good, do it. Curl. Press. For beginners, if you want to just do a curl, single arm and press, that's also totally fine. Well, hello there, speaker. To the top. Down. Up. Don't let anything stop you. You got this. Tech support will be here any second. Breathe. To the top. Keep going, team. Now you can hear me truly suffer as well. Let's put the work in. Come on. And if you were doing single arm, you can basically alternate. All right, next exercise. We're going to get the chair and we're going to go into a hip thrust. All right, from here, uh, I believe it might need some charging. All right, so from here, team, you're going to go into a hip thrust. I told you guys, tech support's awesome. So you're going to put your upper back on the chair. You're going to put some weights here or no weights. And you're going to squeeze to the top, making sure that your body is par parallel to the ground. And then you're going to come down. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this for 60 seconds. Ready? Get in position. And we're back on. From here. All the way up. Come on, you're almost done with round one. We just have one exercise. Make sure your hips are going up. Your chin is tucked into your chest. You're looking forward and in front of you. Good. And squeeze those glutes at the top. Well done. All the way. 30 seconds to go. Alright, 
Or you can also go all the way to the bottom. Rest. Come up. Right, don't stop. To the top. Right. Left stop. Deep push up. Come back up. We're almost done. Shake it up, dance it up. All right, we're loving this. 6 a.m., wherever you are, you're signing on. Some of you are signing on from Canada, from Australia, wherever you are. The time zone is crazy, and I appreciate you showing up, showing support, and making this community the badass community that it is. All right. I really like the area to get real messy as I train. Shows hard work. All right, dumbbell squat. Time's up. Let's go. Get low, baby. Down. Up. All the way. Round one done. Round two. Let's smash it. Core engage.
seconds here. Make sure it's not like this, because you will injure yourself. 
at 4.30 a.m. Loving it, girlfriend. We're waiting for you whenever you're re ready. All right, someone else is memorizing this so you can do it tomorrow. All right. I think your nephew took your sister's mobile. What? Oh, I see lots of interesting things are going down. All right, all right, team. Let's put this at a pause for a second. We are going into round three. Never mind, let's put it up. We're going into round three. We're going full in. We're gonna show up for every little part of ourselves, all right? We're gonna crush it, we're gonna kill it, and I really need you to do this full out. Ready? We're gonna go into jump squ uh, dumbbell squats. Let's go. Down. Up. Down. Up. 
just yet okay so listen have a sip of water let me tell you what we're going to do we are going to do as many rounds as possible for five minutes all right I'm gonna put on the clock five minutes and what you're going to do let me clean up my area give yourself some free space we're going to and even remove this chair. All right. On the floor, you're going to, oh, sorry, never mind. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry. On the floor, you're going to do reverse crunches. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. You're going to jump up. So you're gonna do five of these. You're gonna jump up and you're gonna give me 10 high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you're gonna give me five pulse squats. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're gonna give me five burpees. Five, all right? For five minutes, you can do as many as you can. You can tell me in the chat or in the comments later, you did one round, two rounds, three rounds, four rounds, five rounds, whatever many you do, that's amazing. And that's gonna be the finisher for today's workout, which means we're just gonna basically use all of the energy that you still have, if you have any, and just completely remove that so you can have an amazing meal afterwards, all right? Five minutes on the timer, it's on. Let's go, five reverse crunches. I'll do the first one with you, two, three, four, five. Roll up, and you're gonna give me 10 high knees. One, two, three, as high as you can. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're gonna go into five pulse squats. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're gonna go into five burpees. Jump up. Keep record of mine, you keep record of yours. 
To make the burpee easier, you can jump. You can just put your hands down, left leg forward, right leg forward, and jump. All right, team, keep going. Down. One. workout and join me for an awesome one again tomorrow tomorrow's schedule allows for a lower strength workout it's going to be amazing make sure to hydrate eat well and i'll catch you there